I am given this balloon this time and this balloon already it is tied at its end using this thread normally balloon is inflated and then people put this uh, uh, string over it but what the balloon that I am given is already uh, tied at its end and I am asked to inflate this balloon ok I can do it but I need uh, another apparatus and that apparatus is this doctor syringe and see how I do it so I'll put this balloon inside this syringe barrel it has gone in and I am putting the piston I'll push the piston just as the compounders do and push all the air outside so now I have syringe I have this balloon here and this hole I am going to close with my thumb and with the two fingers at the right place I am pulling it and you look at the balloon you look at that balloon and see what happens when I pull see the balloon is getting inflated although it is tied at its end no air can go into the balloon but the balloon is already inflated you can see and if I remove my thumb the balloon once again takes its original shape uninflated so what is happening how the balloon is inflating when there is no way to for air to go into the balloon this syringe look at the air in the syringe when I am closing it that small leftover air in the syringe is getting expanded see now I am pulling it and the air is getting in expanded and the pressure of that air goes down and the balloon is inflated and when I push the piston back the pressure of that air is uh, again coming to normal and the balloon is taking its original shape uninflated so you can you can inflate a balloon without injecting air inside the balloon if you can somehow expand the uh, pressure expand the air in the surrounding of the balloon that's what I have done so this uh, balloon also had some amount of air inside some amount of air very small amount of air is not able to inflate but some amount of air is already there okay and when the and at what pressure is this almost atmospheric pressure when I put it inside this barrel and put the piston in place and remove all the air of the piston from this hole and then close it a small amount of air that is trapped in the syringe surrounding the balloon that is getting expanded gradually and the inside air inside of the balloon that air the pressure has now become more than outside not because more air has gone into it because the outside air is expanded and the pressure there has decreased so relative to that the pressure inside the balloon is much more and hence it tries to expand it tries to come out and in the process it inflates the balloon so you can see how the balloon can be inflated and once you remove your thumb then what happens then the outside air and inside the syringe they are at the same pressure now and the pressure is no more less than that of the air inside the balloon and the balloon takes its original shape so this is how it works you can do this experiment in front of any audience they will enjoy the pulling is very very difficult you have to exert a lot much of lot much amount of force to pull it once you have closed the hole there it's not easy to expand the air but if you do it that will be very nice